a long time ago, when I was in high school, we had to study plays by Shakespeare. And one of the ones we studied was The Merchant of Venice. And there was a speech there where the words are spoken, the quality of mercy is not strained. It droppeth as the gentle rain from heaven upon the fields below. To me, those words have often come back. And what it says to me is that God's mercy is not stingy or given out in parcels or held back in any way, but God's mercy is overflowing and abundant and rich. I think that the mercy of God is the language God speaks. Mercy is God's language. It's the only way God knows to get through God's love to us. So mercy being a language is a language that you and I need to learn to speak fluently if we are going to share the message of God in the world today. To become fluent in mercy, what does that mean? Well, I think if I want to learn any language, if I want to learn Spanish, to become fluent in Spanish, I have to practice it. I have to practice it to the point where I can speak it without hesitation. So if I want to speak the language of God, the language of mercy, I have to practice it. To practice mercy, the language of God, it's a language of action, not words as you and I know them. So the practice of these actions of mercy, what would that mean? If I want to speak like God, I must give food to the hungry. Practice giving food to the hungry. There are people who are hungry for physical food and they need to be fed. But in our world today, there are people who are hungry for things other than physical food. There are people who are hungry for a kind gesture or a loving word, an encouraging word, a pat on the shoulder, a hand out and a hand up. We know too that the language of mercy is to give clothes to the naked. Sometimes we meet people who don't have adequate clothing. Where I come from, it's a very cold and wet climate and people need adequate clothing in order to be sheltered from the elements. They need heavy jackets, jackets with hoods. But there are people who need clothing that isn't physical clothing. We meet them all the time. There are people whose clothing needs to be dignity. How do you and I clothe people with dignity? Give them accord them the dignity that they are that is theirs as children of God. So to feed the hungry, to clothe the naked, to give shelter to the homeless is another gesture that's part of God's language of mercy. There are people who have no home, no house to go to, no apartment to live in. But there are also people who have no home in the sense that they do not know where they belong, who are their people. You and I are called to welcome them. And when we do that, we speak the language of God. Like that, another action of mercy is to welcome the stranger. Sometimes we do that physically when we welcome people from another country into our country, or when we welcome people from another town into our home. 
but there are other ways to welcome the stranger, too. Have you ever met somebody whose ideas are not like yours, that seem very foreign to you? I've met people like that. But when I listen to them, ask them questions, try to understand them, I am welcoming the stranger. Sometimes there are people whose ideas of the church or of what it means to live a good life are different than mine. But to listen to them and welcome them is to welcome the stranger. So when we learn to speak the language of God, this language of mercy, it's a language not of words, but of gestures. And I think that for me, and probably for all of us, it's important to learn to speak God's language. Because in doing these things, that's how God's love is made present in the world. That's how we share the love that's been given to us. It's when we use these gestures of mercy to welcome others, to accord them dignity, to make them feel at home, and our world becomes a little less cold and maybe a little more warm.